so back again today with another YouTube video today we've got the lovely Sada here with us I've known her for a very long time so let's kind of do a very soft kind of accentuating kind of a makeup because she's got these petite features so I want to show you guys how we would enhance those without taking over them to begin we are going to go ahead and spray her face with some of this go natural oxygen water now a lot of times when I use any hydrating spray it doesn't have to be this one it can be MAC fix plus it can be rose water the idea is to introduce some hydration on the face I'm going to Follow that up by using the Sukin Purely Ageless Hydration Elixir. I'm going to apply that on her face while we work on her eyes. Face, some on her chest as well. So we're just going to apply some of that. I'm also going to apply some moisturizer on top for some added hydration so I'm making sure it's being absorbed into her skin look up Sada I'm also gonna go under her eyes with the same Right, so now I'm going to start with her eyes first as usual. We're going to let the skin kind of absorb all that stuff that we've applied to it. And now with Sada, as I discussed, she's got really pretty, like kind of a small nose, this, this small kind of mouth. Even the eyes are, you know, uh, beautiful. But here we have them slightly closer set also. The kind of eye I feel that if you overpower, it can start to look like kind of drowned out with makeup. And I feel it's really important. I want her eyes to look big and like kind of gorgeous um, and not overpowered by makeup. Okay, so I'm going to start first by applying a white pencil inside her eye. So I'm going to make her look up. I like to do this as the first step because I know it tends to irritate the eye. Take a deep breath. Right, I'm going to go in one more time. So I'm going to go in with my concealing colors and I'm going to make start light medium with tart deep and make the base of her eye here. Now what I want to do with her eye is kind of pull it apart. I don't want to make them, I want them to make them look like they're going further apart from each other. So we're going to lighten the inner corners and keep all the darker colors on the outer corner of her eye. So I'm just making sure that her eye and the corners close again. I've got product on it. I'm going to brush her brows. Her, her hair color right now is slightly lighter than her eyebrows so I'm going to make sure that when I'm going on her eyebrows I keep it slightly softer so I'm going to use my Huda Beauty warm brown here I'm going to take these two first and start filling in the brow just turn a little bit here so, that. so I'm going over the entire thing because I'm going to soften the color a little bit Fill that in and then just kind of brush it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my dip down as the base color and I'm going to use my Morphe M441. But I'm going to focus the blending of that on the corners, okay? I'm not going to take it to the front of her eye. Just keep it to the sides. So focusing the darker blending on the corners of her eye. And then I'm going to go back in with my warm brown obsession and I'm taking these two colors. You guys will also notice that in my videos, I tend to use some products time and again. It's also to show you guys what are some of my main fail safes. So this is definitely one of those palettes that I tend to use quite a bit. I've just gone over the area where I applied the dip down with, the, with that tone, keeping it away from the front of her eye. I want to focus everything on the edge of her eye, any kind of contouring darkness. So 
So now I'm going to use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use Primavera, the color, it's like a golden color. And I'm going to apply it to her brow bone. Right, and now I'm going to take the same palette and take Vermeer from this palette. It's like a pale, almost whitish pink tone. And I'm going to now apply it to the lid. Now I'll show you how I'm going to do that for her. So we're going to pull the lid up a little bit and make sure that we're applying it to the entire crease slightly higher. So open Sada. So I'm going to go slightly higher than her, where her lid kind of finishes because I don't open up that eye, right? So slightly higher, making sure that I'm keeping this entire front section of the eye nice and light. So a little beyond what her lid is, lid space allows us to do. Okay. I'm also going to go lower towards her lower lash line here. So that entire area I'm going to kind of make brighter. Then turn this side, band kind of. And one very important thing to do, if you notice, even in her inner corner here, I've gone slightly higher. Again, to add lightness to that area, the minute we add more lightness here, the hooded uh, part of her eye is going to look less and it's going to accentuate this entire area. Open, Sada. Close again. Right, so I've applied that tone on her eye and I'm going to go in with my eyeliner which I'm going to keep very thin from the beginning of her eye and thicker on the corners. But keep it thin all across, nothing thick on her eye because I don't want to overpower her eye as I said. Open Sada and look down. So I'm going to apply her line. So we're going to let it dry for a minute and I'm going to take a more softish kind of color here like this really soft raw sienna and I'm just going to go in her crease above where I've painted on that lighter tone on her. So not in her actual crease just right above where we've applied her lighter tone. So I'm trying to actually make her lid space look bigger by doing that. Right and then I'm going to take a lighter kind of softer brown. And I'm going to blend over where I applied that eyeliner. Open Sada. Niche dekhna. Can you see? If you look straight into the camera, you can see that it's immediately softened that eyeliner on her. So these are the red cherry lashes in 213. Open Sada and look down. So I'm going to first measure on her eye, open so that looks straight, down again. So I'm going to cut them a little bit for her and then I'm going to take some glue on the back side of my brush. I'm going to apply some on the strip here and open and look down. Open down again and then open and look straight so that looks nice and fluttery as you can see it's a thinner lash it's not going to take over anything heavy on her eye is going to take over her eye and I don't want to do that so I'm going to go back in with my cypress umber and just on the root of the lash from the corners I'll darken it slightly open Sada and then down again and I'm going to take a dry bud just clean around the eye I'm just taking a wipe and cleaning around her eye. So I'm just wiping around her eye. You tell her you have like a till under your eye. Do I? Is it? Must be. Yeah. No. I have so many on my face. It's, it's a what? It's a little beauty mark there. I'm just gonna take that. Now I'm going to go back in with my eyeliner 
and apply a thin coat now. Look down just to the root of the lash. Chin up or up now, eyes down up now. So I've just applied liner again on the roots of the lash. I'm taking some oxygen water here. You can take any other kind of spray that you're using. And I'm gonna wet my brush and go back into the Vermeer that we applied in the center of her eye. And apply another coat. Right, so now I'm going to, before we finish the eye, I'm just going to let her eye relax for a little bit because we've been going back and forth. So before we finish, I'm going to first do her skin. So I'm going to come back to her skin where we, we've applied the oil and the cream. And now first I'm going to wipe. As I've told you guys, I'm not a fan of oil under makeup. A lot of people do that. But I feel like it's great to apply otherwise or as skin prep but I don't understand uh, applying or any kind of face oil under makeup because I feel like it does affect the way it sits on your face, especially for us, we live in a very humid, hot country. It just doesn't work here. So I feel like it's better to use as a prep as I have here. And I'm gonna take everything off from her face and I'm gonna just dry her face before I start her skin. And I'm gonna take some Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. You can use any other illuminator as well. I'm just gonna take that and first apply it all over her skin. She's got really good skin. It's in great condition, so I don't want to, again, cover it up. It's about enhancing. Relax on her face. Mm -hmm. You kinda of like what's happening with this brush on my face. So I've applied that illuminator everywhere. Now I'm gonna go in and first color correct. So I'm gonna use Born This Way Almond and I'm gonna use my Tart Shape Tape in Deep, okay? So I'm gonna use, you like these two? Yeah, I love Tart. Tart. So I'm gonna mix these two for her color correcting color first. So there is some color correction under the eye and around her forehead. So I'm gonna start applying that there first. Open and look up. So I'm not a fan of using orange color correctors. I tend to kind of do it with concealer. And uh, the mixture of color kind of is orangey. It becomes almost peachy orangey. And I can cater it to, look up. I can uh, taper it according to the kind of skin tone I'm doing makeup on. So I'm just blending that. On here, Sada. Open it like Right, so knocking out anything that we see on the face darkness wise that we don't want there. Now I'm gonna go back in and mix my Charlotte Tilbury and my Naked Skin Foundation in 3-1-N and my Bourjois Healthy Mix BB Cream in Medium. So I'm gonna mix these together. And I'm gonna make her color. I'm gonna start buffing this into her skin now. Are you a makeup person, Sada? I love makeup. Yeah? Where did I learn my love for makeup? Where? Natasha. <laughs> so I remember years back, because Sada and my cousin Alicia went to school together. So they used to be at the salon when it opened and they were my guinea pigs, basically. So everybody would sit down and get their makeup done and we used to also read tarots at that yeah, time, I remember. Yeah. I was the tarot yes. reader and... The makeup artist. Makeup artist. All in one. Yes, so they would kindly let me do many a thing. So, yeah, it was fun. It's good to be back in the seat. Yes, yes. Now our children actually go to the same preschool together. Time has changed. Such are the... Yeah, can, can you imagine? So... It's like a, it's full circle, mm. you know.
Okay, so now we're going to take the deep tart shaped tape and I'm going to go into her hollows of her cheeks. She naturally is a very small person as well, like a skinny, skinny girl. So you can really see how lovely her bones are. The contours are already there. You don't have to do much. So very softly on her own cheekbones, I'm just in her jawline, I'm softly accentuating because she doesn't require it. If someone doesn't need it, don't go crazy trying to do something that they don't require. And just, can you see where I've created that crease line for her? I'm gonna go down. And contour her nose. Right, so just blending that all into her skin. Now I'm gonna go back in with my medium sand and my light by Born This Way concealer. And I'm gonna take my sponge and just now go under her eye again. So especially while doing concealer, try to make the client look up. So it settles under the eye better. And I'm gonna take the same shade, look down again, Sabha. Sada. It's just in the center of her nose also. The bridge of her lip here. The bow of her lip and then the bridge of her nose. So I'm gonna go ahead now and go under her eye with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Let it sit under her eye for a bit. We're gonna bake under her eye a bit so that the concealer doesn't set into the fine lines as such. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and pencil her lips. Just turn this side up again. So now I'm going to mix two colors. This is Modesty by MAC and Please Me by MAC. They both are some of my favorite colors. And I've applied Spice Lip Pencil on her lip. So I want to mix that, so that look here. And stretch your lip like smile. Like you're smiling, I normally smile like that, yeah. And build this color. So this really ends up being this really pretty pink but with the brown base. And now I'm gonna take some Max Saint No Angel lip gloss and apply it bang in the center of her lip. Right, and while that settles, I'm gonna take some mascara and I'm gonna apply it top and bottom. Open and look up. Up again for this other. Right, and now I'm gonna go in with my pencil brush again, and I'm gonna use my medium browns to also soften under her eyes. So just this color here. Open and other and look up. Just give a slight bit of color under her eye and up again. And then I'm gonna apply mascara there too. Right now, this is the benefit bad gal. Some of the things that you've taught me, right? I am still using this. Really? Even Mani said this exact same thing uh -huh. during the video. She said, I still am using. So I keep. Yeah, I love that. So L'Oreal. Yeah, I love that. Please Me is another one. L'Oreal. Telescopic is one of my favorites, but it's so hard to find now. 
it's like a become a pain everybody in my family knows now that i only use that so they get they it hold it so another one that you really love then is the benefit bad gal yeah that's replaced my telescopic okay. for me i'm going to use the beadza now from the huda beauty pink sands edition here so it's like a highlighted pink smile sada as i want this look to be pink and pretty on the cheeks as well smile again and i'm going to use azores from the same palette on her collar bones and chest as well now i'm going to add some deep throat by nars blush on top of her cheek smile so now i'm going to go in and add some myth lipstick on the center of her lip myth is one of those colors that everybody should get because you can make any color kind of lighter you know a more ombre in the center it's a great mixing color i also like to wear it as a nude so it's one of my fail safe so i'm just going to add that in the center this kind of has the same tone if you notice as the eye that i've gone for where sada's concerned so i've used a very cool toned shadow on her it's a cool toned eye so i feel the lip in the center can also be slightly cool toned So now I'm going to apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set and whenever I apply this I tend to dab my beauty blender on top of it. And I'm going to go in one more time with the white pencil right at the end. So Sada are you ready? Yeah. Look up. Cuz this is a little dangerous to do in oh, the end. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> just deep breaths i tell every all my brides as well right after they've had their open it then always used to use a purple liner under eye really yeah. smile kind of really i don't i really don't i remember everything like i i feel like these things that i've learned from you right you they use them with me and i use them the small things like i don't know but purple things. would also purple must have been sketch i'm 100% yes it's sketch it's sketch yeah right, right. so sketch is one of my favorites for especially yeah. under eyes i've used a similar to similar tone today as well but i love that so sketch yeah. is one of my favorite things to buy i'll write upper later on one of the times we meet in that class class i'll write down a yeah. list for you So as you can tell here now I've tried to do a very cool tone look on Sada even though as we all are we want warm tone but I love the contrast on her I love the fact that her eyes look bigger they're softer we try to enhance her waterline kind of keep very soft tone in her eyes so it's accentuated but at the same time it's making her look more beautiful without the makeup overpowering her face love the way the earrings are looking these are by Koru which is another excellent brand for jewelry i know you guys all keep asking me for the jewelry we end up wearing for videos i hope you guys enjoyed this look uh, keep commenting and sending in your suggestions shall be back with lots more please like share and subscribe Thank you.